25 years ago today, history was made in Anchorage. A new designation and a new leader. Author Laurel Downey Bilgeons is back on the couch for this week's Alaskan History Lesson. It's story time with Ann Phil. Good morning, Laurel. Good morning, James and Megan. Yes, it was November 2nd, 1920, where Anchorage residents voted 328 to 130 to incorporate as a first-class city. And that first mayor had some pretty weighty issues to deal with, I must say. So who was the first mayor of Anchorage? Judge Leopold David. He was elected November 1920. When he took office, he worked with the city council because they had a lot of issues to deal with regarding law and order. The um, first ordinance, or one of the first ordinances they had, was to set a curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. for youth under 16. They set a speed limit of a dizzying eight miles per hour in Whoa. downtown Anchorage, and they also outlawed public spitting. No spitting, and I hear no illegal hanky-panky. That's right. Okay. When the documents that set up the town site in 1915 specified there would be no illegal activity on the town site property. However, vice just flourished. You had 30 to 40 ladies that were entertaining the railroad workers on the southeast side of town, but they were not to mingle with the townspeople. Uh -huh. um, another ordinance dealt with gambling. They had a curtain law where they had to have an unobstructed view into pool halls and uh, cigar sh shops, soft drink emporiums, and other businesses of a similar character so that uh, illegal gambling could not flourish in the town. Mm -hmm. So that was the least of the mayor's problems though. That's right. Bootlegging proved a little bit more difficult to curtail because of course so much money could be made in the illegal uh, moonshining business. Some uh, of the city leaders looked the other way. Some actually participated in helping the smugglers with the moonshine. Children were paid $5 reward if they would tell where they saw the illegal stills in town. Even respectable people got involved in this business. Um, some created their own homebrew, while others, like Frank M. Reed, profited off the thirst of their neighbors. Reed, who later became a banker as well as a city leader, um, would collect discarded bottles that guests at his mother's Anchorage Hotel had left behind, and he would sell them to bootleggers for 35 cents a dozen. 35 cents a dozen. <laughs> so quite the combination of issues to deal with. Uh, was he able to do anything about it? No, poor Mayor David worked very hard at it, but he could not stop the ladies, the gambling, or the drinking. Oh, so after two terms as mayor, he gave up his political career and went into law practice with L.V. Ray. He'd passed the bar exam in Washington State earlier, so he decided to live out his life in his beautiful home on 2nd Avenue. So unfortunately, not a very long life at that. Fate dealt him a cruel blow. He died of heart disease in 1924. He was only 43 years old. And so David, who had come to Alaska in 1904 as a pharmacist assistant with the U.S. Army and then later worked as a manager of the Seward Drug Company, was buried in the Anchorage Memorial Park Cemetery. Um, unfortunately, his tombstone then said physician and surgeon instead of attorney at law. Oh, after all of that, you know, <laughs> oh, I, I want, know. I want my, my forever tombstone to, to have the right thing on it. It'd be accurate at least. Yeah, at least have somebody <laughs> double check it.